To make this video, we edited another video. The thumbnail looks like this, and the card will be in your top right hand corner. So I've made two of these editor versus editors in the past, and a fan, listen to me, fan, I don't have fans. A person who watched one of the videos, or maybe watched both of them, who knows, asked me to do Fillmore versus Pinnacle Studios. This is why we're doing this video today. I am a horrible YouTuber because I cannot find his comment. I, I can't find it. I'm bad, I know. So if you're the one who suggested it, just let me know in the comments that you were the one and I can properly on the next video give you your proper shout out because if it wasn't for you, this video would not be being made right now. So without further ado, let's get to it. So I'm going to edit the external hard drive portion using Pinnacle Studios. Uh, this is I have Pinnacle Studios 24. Obviously, this is the home page is trying to get me to buy Pinnacle Studios 25. Uh, not right now. So I'm going to go to edit and pretty much most editors have the same basic layout. You know, they kind of all look the same. What I'm going to do now, but they do work differently. And I'm going to show how some editors work a little bit better than others in some aspects. So first I'm going to go to import media. And now, as you can see, it went straight to screen capture. Now, this is a kind of crazy with both Pinnacle and Fillmore. I'm using um, Streamlabs OBS to record right now because I like the whole feature where it records the whole screen and also too, I have my webcam there. If you are using Streamlabs, even if you have the app open with Pinnacle and with Fillmore, you cannot record yourself because obviously you're using your camera for Streamlabs. So kind of crazy, but you can't. You literally have to close that out and then you'll be able to use a camera. Um, but we're not even doing that right now. What we want to do is we want to download some of our video or I want to download a video that I already pre-recorded. So now this is it's kind of irritating me. And I actually tried to see a video to see if there's a fast way of doing it. There is not a fast way of doing it. You see how all these videos are clicked? Well, I just want to use one video. And that video is right here. I got to unclick all this stuff just to download that video. So with the use of editor magic, I'm going to magically do this, but just know it took me a while. Okay. So that took me a minute and 15 seconds that I can never get back, but now I have it. So now we're going to go to start import and it should just import that one video right there. So then we're going to go back to the editor and boom, there it is. So we're going to bring it down. We're going to put it on the timeline. Now, Another thing, I don't know about you guys, but when I've been using editors, the one thing that you look for when you want to cut something is what? The scissors icon, right? I'm like, well, I'm looking for a scissor icon. I can't find it, can't find it, can't find it. I'm like, what the hell's going on? I had to watch a video. They don't use the scissors icon. They have a razor blade. It's so small that I didn't know that that was a razor blade, but it says right there, split clip, so I should have just understood that 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 was a razor blade so but now i know so now i'm going to go where i don't where i'm going to pretty much what i don't want i'm gonna edit it out and i'm gonna cut it out what so i'm gonna go a little bit before the sound and i'm gonna clip click on it and also too they don't have a trash can you just gotta right click and hit, hit, hit delete not a big issue but you know the trash can is like easier so then i'm gonna keep all that and then at a certain point i start rambling and i'm gonna cut that out so let's play now let's get into the cloud based businesses right there i ramble for no damn reason 
yeah it, it, it was bad so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna cut that boom and then i'm going to uh that's right i'm looking for a trash can i don't have one so i gotta go delete boom there it is now i'm pretty much just going to export from this point also too what i like about for more that you can't do here i can't enlarge this or man i just don't know how to enlarge it but you know with a more you can enlarge it to where you can get like detailed with your like when you're cutting and you know because a lot of times when especially when you're trying to add something on there's little fragments that go of the video of the previous video that you got to kind of get rid of otherwise it'll be in there and it'll make your video look stupid well you know with a more you can kind of enlarge it as big as you want to so you can get in there and get it get it out um with this it looks like this is the only size it has i could be wrong i don't know if you guys know how to do it please let me know in the comments i don't and that would have been a big liability if i had to add more video to it i mean other than that i mean it works fantastically just like any other editor uh you can increase the volume i mean it looks good here as i play a little bit or you could just be cheap you can go here you go to ebay and buy one that's probably used for 11.28 but i get I mean sound looks good uh now nah, i've not nah, been downplaying it a little bit but this part i do like we're gonna go back to import not this part what um now also with both filmora and with uh, pinnacle you can screen record so if you don't want to use your obs you have the option to screen record even though i just feel like the obs is the best way uh, you might feel a little differently it does have a screen record option but what pinnacle has that film more doesn't have or maybe i just need to upgrade to a pro with film more is this multi cam or this multi cam capture all of the big youtubers now have multiple cameras and you can see how when they edit it goes from this camera angle to that camera angle to this camera angle as i get bigger and as i get more money <laughs> because you know you got to be able to afford all these cameras i'm probably going to do the same thing so just based off of that i think this editor is worth keeping so but we're going to go back to editor we got this this is exactly what i needed to do so we're going to export this this is my first time exporting so uh we're going to give this a name and we're going to just give it an easy name e h for external hard drive and then well we'll do e h too because i think i did that once already and then we're going to start the export and it seems to be exporting pretty fast so for more it's pretty fast too so i mean you can't really complain about that but I mean, like I said, it has a few things that I wish would make it a little bit easier, but overall it's not a bad editor. So I'm gonna close this out. And now we're gonna go to the Femora part of the video. So now we're going to do the Femora portion of this video and we're gonna talk about the cloud-based businesses. So right off the bat, I just wanna show how much easier it is to download or to import media than it is in Pinnacle. I don't know why I had a brain fart, but you just witnessed a brain fart. So I'm gonna go to import media and it's go straight to my videos. Now I can do downloads, I can do documents, and it's the same thing with Pinnacle, but not everything is highlighted, which is crazy. So back to videos, I'm gonna import six videos. You saw how crazy it was to just import one video. Well, I'm gonna import six videos and I'm gonna do it so fast, it's not funny. So I got all these labeled, uh, AWS is Amazon. So I'm gonna click on that, boom. And it shows it right there and it's over. It's, that's it. Bing, bang, boom, done. Box, which is another company. And then I'm gonna go to let's see here. Yeah, Dropbox. Another company. Boom. I can highlight 
two at a time and import them both at the same time. Uh, we're looking for Google Drive. Boom, right there. We're looking for iCloud. So I need an i right there. And then one more. We're looking for Microsoft OneDrive. Boom. And there goes all six of my videos. See how fast that was? I didn't have to use editing magic to bring those, all those in. So now I will say this. A lot of times when we do that, they're all be highlighted. If you just bring one down, you're bringing them all down. So unclick them so that you can just bring one down at a time. And then with Filmora, we have the handy dandy right there. My scissors. When scissors let me know that I can cut something. And then even if I didn't want to use the scissors, the cursor has a pair of scissors on it too, which is great. And then when I after I take off something, I could just hit my garbage can and delete it. I can right click if I want to, but who wants to do all that kind of stuff? When I just click garbage can. Now, this is what I feel like really, really separates the two. I can just bring up my mouse till I got two arrows, one point to the right, one point to the left. And if I go to the right, I can enlarge it. And if I go to the left, I can make it smaller. Now, this is cool when you got to do like fine tune editing, which I'm about to do right now. That's going to make it even a little larger because especially with me, I made a video about this. I'm a mouth breather. And as I'm been on my YouTube journey, I've noticed that, you know, like a lot of times when I talk, I'll take heavy breaths. I don't want those in there because for one, I notice them and for two, somebody else knows them and for three. It I get to my point faster if I take out these long breaths. So and then, you know, points where I'm not talking. You know, yeah, I can get rid of these. But for more, it's real easy. So I'm going to bring my cursor over here. Now, see, this made this little video really long, but it's cool because now I get to listen to it. And whenever I'm not saying something, I can just get rid of it. I'm going to give you six different cloud storage companies now every last one of these companies will give you a certain amount of gigabytes for free after that you have to pay for whatever want to stay around now i can keep that because that's a short breath i'm going to keep around two gigabytes even though I some of these companies that. when i looked i didn't so i could get rid of that breath for one two companies so i'm gonna go right here i take the breath i'm gonna click it and I'm going to go when I start talking again, right about here. And I'm going like, to click it, highlight it, boom, get rid of it. See how fast and easy that was? Real easy. I know. When I looked, I didn't see two gigabytes. I'm oh, assuming and it just two conversation gigabytes, keeps so going. Just kind of bear with Makes me. It so First easy. on the list, we have Marcus. So now that was a fast transition. I don't have to get rid of this, but I can get rid of it to make it even faster. But I'm not going to. So now I'm going to bring down the media that I want to use. I believe I'm using Microsoft OneDrive. I am using Microsoft OneDrive. First on the list, we have Microsoft OneDrive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down Microsoft OneDrive. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the first video. It's just like a voiceover. And then the, micro, the second video is going to be what you actually see on the screen, which is just a little commercial about Microsoft OneDrive. And now, now you see what I'm doing right here? I can just pull and I and this is deleting all the stuff that I don't want. Makes it so much easier. So, so this is where I want my video to start. Well, let me look at it. I want to kind of start it there. Yeah, I might want to start it there. Yep, I'm going to start it right there. And then I go right here. And then I see how it looks. First on the list, we have Microsoft OneDrive. They give you five gigabytes for free. After that, you can buy a see? So easy. Looks good. Looks professional. Now, I can go ahead and if I want to put in some text, I'll put in some text. But... 
it looks so good on Wayne but it ain't text you guys can understand what I'm saying so in a nutshell I don't want to keep you guys too long uh, that's pretty much Fillmore it just it's a really good editor if you just do basic videos you can move fast with it you can edit fast it doesn't have a lot of features to it you know like I said I, I use the camera and I put in my stuff like I said I couldn't do both at the same time I used to be able to I can't anymore which is pretty crazy I don't know what happened but now I can't use the OBS and film more at the same time with the same camera I did but now I can't I don't know why now I know what you guys are saying oh just buy another camera well you know I'm not money bags over here you, you see the the subscriber count <laughs> you know, I'm not monetized I'm doing this for free so uh, but yeah I guess that'll be a way to fix it anyway we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say exactly which one I prefer I know I've been killing pinnacle and it seems like I'm putting up a film more but you'll be surprised what I say at the end so as far as being able to edit faster easier a uh, lot less grief you're going to want to choose from more but they cost the same film more cost me 49.99 for a year pinnacle studios cost me 49.99 for the whole year with film more if i wanted to do a multi camera i'll probably have to upgrade to film more pro which is more with pinnacle studios i can do multi camera angles for the same price as for more so i'm keeping this editor just based off of that because eventually i'm going to want to play around with that like i'm going to get cameras i'm going to have multi multiple cameras i'm going to have my webcam here which is hd webcam i don't know it looks good to me so you know, i'm gonna have a camera here i'm gonna have a camera here and then i get to hook them all up and then i get to utilize that feature and my videos will look more professional because you'll see me from this angle then you see me from another angle and then another angle yeah and i can't do that with this version of more i will have to pay more money into it with pinnacle i got that i can do that now i can start looking like a professional youtuber i just need the cameras so as far as like just really fast editing for very basic videos i would definitely go with more but if you want to do multi-camera angles for this price pinnacle studios all day so i'm not going to ramble along pretty much that's my opinion let me know in the comments which one you would choose in saying that if you are new here to sem please hit the subscribe button and compare this sem nation which compares things that bell notification you know when the video comes out and like the video please give me a thumbs up my name is dorian this is sem thank you guys for watching my videos i really do appreciate it and you guys have a good day